So today we are doing free code camp backend development APIs. We just finished the managing packages with NPM course, so check out the playlist in the description if you have not gone through that. And we are starting basic node and express. So it is important to note as we go through this that a lot of this is going to be in a sandbox. I mean, we're entirely doing this on Replit, which itself is kind of like a digital uh, web hosted IDE. So it, it's a sandbox environment already. But the way that Free Code Camp is teaching these different uh, these different technologies, I guess, is very very sectioned off from each other and not how you would actually do this in a full stack application. So that is important to note. The concepts hold true and the fundamentals of what you're learning uh, are good and make sense. But again, kind of take it all with a grain of salt because this is not exactly how we would set this up in a live full stack application okay so as with that being said let's proceed we are on challenge one meet the node council and first off uh, this is a different template a different repo from the previous one that we did so uh, clone this on replit all you have to do is once you have a replit account click this link here and it will allow you to import from github and you can just import it directly once you've done that you will have this repo or this project with all the files you need and you can start off by going into council and npm i or npm install uh, so we want to do this in the shell not the council npm i and that will get all the dependencies we need from the package json file which we just learned about in the last in the last section the last lesson so what we have to do for this one is uh, modify myapp.js to file hello world in council. So myapp.js, that's going to be the file we're working with for the majority of this uh, project. Basically, this is saying it's important to know what's going on in your code. Node is, is just like a JavaScript environment, like client-side JavaScript. You can display info to the council to debug. On your local machine, you would see this in the terminal. On Replit, you'll use the Replit terminal. So similar, but not the same. Okay, so let's go into the myapp.js, and we can see we have this boilerplate code. All we're going to do here is console.log hello world. And now when we run the project in console here, we should be able to see the server spin up and hello world is displayed in the console. So that is all we needed to do for this one. If we copy this live link, as long as the server is running, this is the live web, live web view link to actually view the server and file that are running on the web. If we were to host an index HTML or some type of HTML, uh, we can actually just take this link here. If I can grab the whole thing, copy it, head back to free code camp and paste it in here and complete the challenge. That's all we had to do for this one.